Where do I stand with Sister Suki Hana? As you know, with me, it's all about politics before the punani. It's always revolution before romance. It is always institution building before institutions, before intimacy, liberation over lust, business before the bedroom, revolution over the romance. So me and Sister Suki Hana could have a conversation. Sister Suki Hana, if you would like a conversation, Shoot me a text message. Have somebody from your team get in touch with me. Let me know when you're next in your hometown of Wilmington, Delaware, so I could take you on a tour of the FDMG Academy. You might want to become a donor if you're not already. My school. You're going to take on a tour, all right. School is in your hometown, good sister. Your school is in your hometown. Our school. And we will have a conversation, Sister Suki and Dr. Umar, right here in FDMG Wilmington, Delaware. You said you want Dr. Umar, right? Yeah. So how would you shoot your shot with Dr. Umar? But I love a pen African king. Mm. You know, king I'm, Kong. Mm -hmm, king Kong consciousness. I'm, I'm very pro-black, so I care about my people. Mm. And I feel like if I was to pick somebody to call, it would be Dr. Umar. And that's what I said in Grinch. Dr. Umar leaving woke right now. I want of Dr. Umar leaving woke right now, because I do got that woke. If I was to meet Dr. Umar, he would shoot his shot with me, because he going to see me. Oh. Mm. Black chocolate conscious queen that lead a little goddess and daddy issues and I feel like you know exactly what to do with me. What did she say? <laughs> Let's get some work done. Yo, he about to be on the intro of the album. Watch. We could lead a revolution, Suki Hana and Dr. Papa. Let's just call her Suki Papa. Let's just call her Suki Papa. But let me say this, Suki Papa. Let me say this, Suki Papa. Let me say this, Suki Papa. If we go down that path, you can never go back. If we go down that path, Sister Suki Hana, you can never go back. Let's do something for the people, Sister Suki Hana. I look forward to having a conversation by phone, or if you're going to be coming home anytime soon, we can have lunch in the principal's office. We can have lunch in the principal's office. You gotta repeat it. We can have a catered lunch in the FDMG principal's office. I'm just kidding. We'll go to a restaurant and have a professional conversation. But anyway, brothers and sisters, Let's get back to the revolution. This is Big Bass Life with another informative, informative, informative video, man. I thought Derek Jackson hung it up. I thought he retired. Now coming out of retirement is Dr. Umar Jackson. <laughs> uh, Dr. Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Yeah, Dr. Umar Jackson is coming out again. And uh, this is one of the reasons why black men, to be specific, we do not. We do not take him serious. Now, Dr. Umar Jackson is a great teacher. But when he gets into his um, when he gets into his preacher role, you know, when he starts preaching and he starts pandering like panda bear, you know, we kind of like you lose us. You lose black men with the pandering because we know you're trying to get in them draws. We know the draws is one of your biggest distractions. We know that Dr. Umar Jackson really wanted to be Dr. Dre. He wanted to be gangster gangster, but uh, it didn't go that route for him. All of his accolades and all of his, you know, credibility and all of his uh, uh, credentials as a doctor, as an educator, as a, uh, a pro-black uh, a panderer, as a technician to the black community. All of that is just, you know, it, it doesn't mean anything over here in the black world. Over here, black men, we respect action. We don't respect talk. And far too often, we got a lot of people that do a lot of talking. I want to say this to us, though. Mm -hmm. Because we try to act like the way sisters treat us doesn't have a history that we are not at least partly responsible for. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. The black woman has had to hold down the black house by herself. Although imperfectly, mm -hmm. she's had to do it by herself since the mass incarceration of black males began in the 1970s. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Most of our children are raised by a single mother right now. Mm -hmm. And it has been that way for about 50 years. So when a sister says, I don't need a man, because she couldn't find one strong enough to hold her down. Oh, and you need to stay off that crack, man. Get out. Or when you meet a woman and you say, sister, I'm, I'm strong enough to be a man. You ain't got the work or you ain't got to pay the bills or whatever. Pull back. I got you. And she can't do it because all the other men before you mm -hmm. who disappointed her. So what I'm saying is, black man, we got to be patient with our women because we created that personality. We created that. And then we, we want to act like we didn't play a role. Okay. We have to be held strong... accountable for their poor selection. No, you have to be held accountable. No, you have to be held accountable because they have a poor selection. 
Come on now, dog. Come on, man. See, what you're saying, you're selecting a poor mate. And what I'm saying is they don't have much to select one, so of course she's going to end up with a poor mate. And why is she going to end up with a poor mate? Because we as black men are not raising black boys to be the men that our women need. We are not. They out there killing themselves right now. What we doing about it? Unemployed black males, what we doing about it? Pants sagging, weed smoking, what we doing about it? Black men are not raising black boys to be the men our community needs. That is 100% our fault. What I'm saying is she got a right to be angry with us. Agreed. She got a right to be angry with us. I understand we have that. not been on our job as black men. If the that. men are the providers, what have we been providing for our community? I'm not speaking you individually. Yes, yes. Because you yes, may yes, be a damn good father. You may yes. be a damn good father. You may be a damn good father. But guess what? What are we doing for the community? What are we doing for the children who don't have a father? You don't think the black woman got a right to be angry when she's been raising two thirds of the kids by herself for 50 years? I can, somebody type, I can't do that. In other words, I won't degrade myself like that. This is what we ask for. She's this is what we ask for. She's in India doing this. This is like a rapper or entertainer or something. This is the representation of black women around the world. Ladies, you should be ashamed of yourselves. But I want all you so-called good black women, I want you to listen to this. You let this shit go. It was funny to you. But they're exporting your reputation. It was bad enough when y'all was ratchet around here. But they're exporting your, before you even get there, the rest of the world's impression of black American women is this. Remember when that white woman said that y'all was out of control? Y'all didn't like her for that? Y'all remember that white woman? This, this is this what they're exporting on your behalf. This is what you look like. It was all fun and games when it was around here. But this is, what you, this is what out of control looks like. You're out of control, ladies. You're out of control. You didn't want to hear from the black men who love you. And now the, you didn't want to hear from people like Kevin Samuels who was trying to speak to you in a language you can understand, talk to you for hours. And so now I ain't got nothing but the cold shoulder. We just going to laugh at your asses. That's all, brothers. We just laugh because... Look, at the point where you got 50, the majority of black men who say, I'm not getting married, I'm not gonna have children, I'm I'm not, I'm not doing it. And see, you call me the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Because I don't want to deal with this shit. If you had sons, you wouldn't want your son dealing with that type of shit. Look at this woman right here on the screen, man. She looks like a caricature. Yeah. Look at the hair. Look how she's dressed. All these people are covered up. Even the men are covered up. And she in there dressed like, a, 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 I mean, a clown. Yeah. This is Next, your representation. Next. I mean, you got tattoos, mental issues, titties popped out, long ass. What's that shit? It was strawberry shortcake, my little pony hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't you embarrassed? And again, you good girls, you so-called good girl. Y'all let this shit go. This, this on y'all. Because you, wanted, is like you wanted to be able to sink to that level of low if you wanted to. You wanted to be able to be a hoe and it not to be a thing if you wanted to. Even though you're a good girl, you defended this horse behavior. And the minute she raised her voice, we say she's not humble enough. I she think had I, to I, become masculine to survive the rape, I, the molestation, I, the domestic abuse. Are you telling me you can't see how I, we created that? I understand that, but she needs if to be If we was more loving selective. our women and, and taking care of our women, do you think she would be like that? That it, personality it, has a history. If she's picking Pookie and Ray Ray instead of... You're making junk, her a scapegoat. No, she's the, picking a scapegoat. No, 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 no. There's, there's good Can quality men that they ignore. Why she even got it? Why, why, why is there even a Pookie in the selection? You got to ask Heather. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why there's a pookie okay. in the selection. Why? Because black men have abandoned black boys and have allowed social media, white media, athletes, and rappers to raise them. That's why she went pookie. If she would not have a pookie. If we're going to be men, mm -hmm. the first thing we got to do is take responsibility for why our women feel the way they feel. Now, I'm not going to lie, man. I know uh, Dr. Umar Jackson. Ugh, Jackson, I'm sorry.
Johnson, Derrick Jackson pun. Anyway, long story short, man, I don't agree with what he just said because here's the thing. The reason why the black community, in my opinion, is messed up is because of female nature and hypergamy, man. When you put women in poverty-stricken areas and the men who have the resources just so happen to be men who are leading a life of crime, they're selling dope, they're cooking up dope, they robbing, they jacking, they stealing, they kidnapping, they doing Grand Theft Auto, and these are the men they decide to procreate with. The problem becomes when they go to jail or get killed, who's going to raise the children? Do you expect some schmuck, some beta male to come and put up the effort after she chose the worst person in our community to procreate with because if you listen to dr umar johnson bro he would lead you to believe that the mass incarceration um epidemic in the 90s had every black man in jail there were no suitable black men worthy of dating these black women other than the dope dealers that's what he sounds like he's saying to me and that's simply not the case and dr umar is doing the black community a strong disservice because he's Telling a bold-faced lie, man. There were plenty of good brothers back then. Problem is, y'all know like I know. I always say this. If you live in Detroit, Baltimore, Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Queens, Bronx, New Orleans, wherever. You know it's a bunch of good niggas running around and these dudes don't get noticed by the women. The women want the dudes that got the clout, the money, the resources right now. That's what it is. They don't want to wait till you're 35 to get your damn degree, graduate from medical school, become an emergency medical doctor. They ain't trying to wait that long. They got 13, 14 year old boys right now that jumped off the porch. They're already selling dope and they got money right now. Oftentimes, this happened to me before. My little crush, when I was in high school, she used to sit next to me every day on the bus. One day, she's not on the goddamn bus. Somebody tells me she in a goddamn Escalade with some local drug dealer nigga from the neighborhood. Oh. Fuck Will. <laughs> he got money. You see what I'm saying? Like, Dr. Umar is not telling the whole truth. He is Dr. Umar Johnson is in the business of padding his pocket. He's in the business of clout chasing. And he's in the business of self-absorbing ego stroking. He ego strokes himself. He calls himself all of these powerful nicknames. You know, in the hood, we give ourselves nicknames. You know, like... If you're just regular De uh, 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 Demetrius, you might call yourself Killer D. If your name is 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 O'Shea, you might call yourself Ice Cube. If your name is uh, 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 Aquanelli Akume, you might call yourself Duke Jackson. You might call yourself a whole different amount of names. So you got Dr. Umar Johnson, who is King Kong consciousness. I'm Big Papa. Now Suki Papa. See, that's something. That's rapper talk. That's hip hop talk. Suki Hana and Dr. Papa. Let's just call her Suki Papa. Let's just call her Suki Papa. But let me say this, Suki Papa. Let me say. That's cultural talk. So when you talk like that, you know, black men, we tend not to take you serious, bro, because we don't have to act in order to put out the action. See, I don't have to do the act. All you have to do is just ring that bell and it's ding ding time. Ding ding fries and shakes, like Willie D would say. You know, it's about action, man. We respect men with action. And far too often, Dr. Johnson, Dr. Umar Jackson is pandering, you know. Now it's about, you know, about this and that. And you're saying that black women don't have black women have plenty of options. But what black women have became and what they're becoming, they're becoming extinct because there are no big mamas. There's no feminine traits. There's no cooking and cleaning. There's no one that's home. Even the grandmas are out at the clubs now. So this is what we're dealing with. And therefore, the passport movement has came into effect to go and find that feminine woman, that woman that brings peace, that woman who is not masculine, that woman that we don't have to squabble with, that woman we don't have to be in authority up under and we don't have to worry about her calling zaddy. Calling the police on us, calling the uh, court appointed attorneys on us, calling the court system on us, calling anybody that is not delegated to protecting the black man, because we are the enemy to everybody and anybody, even our own women. And if we don't know that by now, then we're lost. And you got a brother like Dr. Umar Jackson is the he's the fine line between death and miseducation. Because you come with information doesn't mean that I'm being educated. It's information. Information that is talking about a certain subject. If that certain subject, if it, if it acquires, if, if that certain subject you're talking about identifies with what I'm going through, then it's good information. That doesn't mean it's education. 
Education is something that's facts, factual, and there's a solution that comes to it. The solution, what, what is the solution? You're talking about black women. What is the solution? If there's a bright, bad product on the market, you're telling me I have to choose in that bad product? It's like the uh, the political situation. I got to choose Democrat or Republic. Nah, if both of the apples are rotten, I'm not choosing none. I'm going to eat something else. I don't need an apple. I get a pear. If the black women is going bad, guess what? There's other black women. I don't need an American black apple. I can go get a Brazilian black apple. I can go get an African black apple. I can go get a Thailand black apple. I know that sounds crazy, but there are Thailand black women out there. But I'm just saying, this is Big Bass Life with another informative, informative, informative video. Man, like, comment, share, subscribe. And Dr. Umar, seriously, bro, we don't we don't really take you serious. You're you're a great teacher. You have great points. But when it comes to uh talking about relationships and women and all of that, bro, like where's your wife or wives? Where's your woman at? We don't see. Bro, by the time you turn, you know, hey, I've, I've been through this, this, this merry-go-round three times. So at least I got enough experience to say what went wrong and what went right. But where is your, you know, where's your credentials? Where's your experience? This is Big Bass Light with another informative video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. All right. You think what's good for the goose is good for the gander. But it don't work like that outside the United States, ladies. It doesn't work like that. And now you got a rude awakening. And let me say it like this. Anytime you have the mainstream media talking about passport bros, it's a thing now. When I say it's a thing, it's like gangster rap. It's a thing now. This is going to be around for the next 20 years. This is going to usher in a new social order. The black men you see going overseas... They're going to come back with their wives because they have no choice but to. They're not going to date you. They know it's over there. They got jobs here. Yeah, they're going to go play for a couple of years. But when they get 20, when they get 35, 40, 45, 50, they'll be like, let me go ahead and take a chance and bring one of these women over here. They're deve- Look, if you deal with a certain kind of woman long enough, you will develop a taste for that woman. There are black men who love black women, love them to death, don't want nothing but a pretty brown skinned black woman with that African-American accent. But let them deal with them Colombian women for about three, four, five years. Let them eat off that plate and their taste buds are gonna change. They, their taste buds are gonna, I love black American women, but you know what? The past 10, 12 years, I've only dated women from the Dominican Republic. And my fiance is from the Dominican Republic, even though by way of her American, she's born in the US, but She's still Dominican. She's made in America with Dominican parts. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> because that's my taste. She, thank God she's Afro-Latina. But this brother's going to the Philippines and Thailand and Vietnam. They developing a taste for those women. Their customs, their attitude, the way they get down. And so tastes are going to change. The more these men start, the once you let these tigers out the cage, they're going to develop taste for other things. And they're going to eat. You think this 51% of black men, these young men who've reached the middle class, they got money. You don't think they looking at the internet? They ain't watching MSNBC. They don't give a shit that Joe Biden just got uh, uh, impeached. They trying to figure out where they gonna go. It's motherfucking summer. Are we going to the DR, Colombia, or Brazil? I heard Thailand is the shit. I, it's this dude called Zoom to Thailand. I'm trying to go. So you know I'm saying I got three weeks of vacation. We can leave out of New York, blah, but we can leave out of. Ca- now, please make sure your seat back is in the upright position. Your table is closed and your seat belt is fastened. I'ma drill it when I land, I'ma slap it, I'ma flip it like a 
those waffles in the pan. Say it's flatter than the pancake. Ain't your mama damn? Turn around, got the butter. Let me spread it. I ain't stutter. She can use them like the chopsticks. I ain't gotta cut it. She can cook. She can feed me. Baby, take it easy. Friction in the kitchen. Fry some chicken. We so greasy. She got thighs. I got trees. She got time. I got ease. I got bones. She can puff, puff, pass on a V. She got ass. She can twerk. Drop it down in front of me. Make me sing. Murder, murder. Bada boom, bada bing. She a fire. She a fern. She a L. She get burned. I don't pass. Yeah, I come for tell them ninjas. Get your urn. Air bang for your bot. No more running from the cops. No more baby mama didn't give a movie tight. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Passport. Passport. New route. New route. Check in. Check in. Check out. Check out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. New flex. New flex. New house. New house. She flew in. Flew in. Flew out. Flew out. All in. All in. Zalika. She been waiting on me. I let my last ex go. Say that she don't want me. Got my passport broke. Case don't box me in. I'm not a passport hoe. I'm something like a star. Let the cash flow grow. Yeah, I'm from the bottom. Let it top, 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 top. Feel so good. I'm yelling stop, 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 stop. She ain't got to ask for bot, 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 bot. I DDT her. I'm the rock. rock, rock, rock. Love me long. Love me strong. Cook me beans. Fried rice. Put them thighs. Special sauce. Ding, ding. Another round. Here we go. Watch her run. DMC. Watch me walk this way. I'm the man. I'm the king. I'm the Richie. I'm the Mac. I'm a tailor made general. Drop. She don't stop. She just swallow. All I'm in her. Where they at? Here we go. 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 Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Passport. Passport. New route. New route. Check in. Check in. Check out. Check out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. New flex. New flex. New house. New house. Flew in. Flew in. Flew out. Flew out. All in. All in. Zadika. Zadika. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Passport. Passport. New route. New route. Check in. Check in. Check out. Check out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. New flex. New flex. New house. New house. Flew in. Flew in. Flew out. Flew out. All in. All in. Zadika. Zadika. Those same passport bros, you're right. Many of them are going to come back, but they're going to come back with women from other places and other cultures. Yes. And they're not going to run off and live in the mountains. They're going to live right next door to you. So their children <laughs> and, and their wife and, and those children are going to be raised in the culture that, that, that predominates that woman's culture. They're not going to go to your black church. They're not going to go to your hair salon. You're not going to be able to interact with them. Their sons are probably not going to date you or your daughters uh, because their mothers are going to say, that's not what we want. Matter of fact, I predict, and some brothers on my page agree with me, that in about 10 or 15 years with all these women from other races and white women also, they're going to start telling their sons, hey, don't date those black American women. Don't bring them in our house because that culture is toxic. It's the same thing your father was running away from. And it's the same thing he ran to me for. So why would you bring that into our house? That's going to be painful because they're going to be living next door to you. And you're going to be ostracized in your own country. These 85, these men are not, some brothers are going to move overseas. Of course, you're going to have a small percentage of black men that travel overseas. But the vast majority of these men are going to pick up women who are Asian descent, Latina descent, and white women. And they're going to move right next door to you with their children and the culture that they bring. And that's going to be even more painful than them running off to some island somewhere and you never have to see them. Don't do this anymore. Sound like to me you wanted to hide. Man, hit the like button, man. Hit the like button like, like it's a ticket. You're getting ready to go to Sasua or you're going to Colombia, Thailand, wherever you're going. You know, hit that button like you, you know, like you about to get a check. Hit that button. Hit the like button. Life is what you make it. I want everything. Work your ass off. Work two jobs. Get it by enemies. Want the mansion, fancy cars, all the fun Get off your ass. Go out and get it. I want everything. Bad bitches. Everything. Diamond rings. Everything. Million dollar bank accounts. Everything. Everything. What I couldn't buy when I was poor. I had to settle, man. Whoa. Got the dough now. So I show out damn right I won't Have a good day I'll get you bitch